guys, welcome to today's video where it is freezing cold and Gabby and Sophie as good puppy people dress their puppies up before they took them inside. This little girl is sporting a gorgeous little she's blue cold. She just came sweater. From outside. Yeah, she's still freezing oh, with cold. With a penguin on with it. With a penguin on it. And this beautiful horse girl dressed her puppy in a Wonder Woman costume. Oh, it's the only thing I had. So cute. And I got for her, so she. Way to improvise, sister. Who cares what they? Who it, cares? It's still something to keep her warm. Yeah, it's still something to and keep I, her warm. And I was frozen. With yeah, it was and so this is cold. Inside out, if you can see. Yeah, so that's what happens when you have babies. You just do what you got to do. Your hair is ragged. Your clothes are inside out. Oh no, that's because I'm leaving this in for the whole day. Yeah, it looks good. French braids look better the second day around. Yeah. All right, we got to get down to the barn because today. Okay, hurry up and feed them. We uh, need to get down to the barn because today is vet day, which is why my hair didn't get dry today. It is, I'm sporting soaking wet hair. I'm going out there in the cold. Got my coffee, and we're going down there to do chores. Sam needs to go to the bank machine and get my vet money because I spent it all yesterday <laughs> on puppies. Yeah, that's what happened. Never go to the bank and get money for the vet and then go to the to the sales barn because then you end up with two puppies. Yeah, they're like, I don't want the food. I want the people. Oh, so, um, this is what Bella does. Bella says when she's awake, she goes over in that corner and cries her heart out. Yeah, they don't want to like, no. be in a cage. We have Mom, a little ex. Bring them down. We have a little ex pen set up in this tiny house. Who knew there was room? You guys got to clean it out. Oh, look, she's playing with Sophia's coat. <laughs> so cute. <Forget> Again, <laughs> hi. Come watch. <laughs> Gross. Hello. Considering they still really have worms. Yeah. All right, we are here, Mr. Finn, Mr. Braddy Finn. You've been causing us a lot of trouble, dude. He's like, yeah. Well, you've been causing me a lot of trouble. <laughs> Trying to ride me. <laughs> Hi, Storm. You should be setting a better example for your friend there. All right, Stella can go out. Okay. Let's Stella out. Come on, we gotta hurry. Oh, I got my coffee. Stella's a good girl. She doesn't do bad things. She's thinking about it though. She does do that bad thing. She eats the eats the. All right, take them out. Okay, Sophie, hurry up, cause we I gotta start mucking and cleaning. You know it's cold if the. Day by day girls have sweaters on. That is a not something cold. that happens. It's cold. cold. Wow, you're crazy. All right, I'm gonna put you guys down because now it begins the mad dash to get the barn clean before the vet arrives. And we have about 15 minutes, yeah, to do about three hours worth of work. So um, I'll pick you guys up when he gets here, bye. So, see that praying mantis? Yeah, I just picked it up. I thought it was a leaf. I didn't just pick it up. I grabbed it and smushed it together in my fingers like I was gonna grab a leaf and throw it in the garbage. I'm just shaking. I'm literally shaking. It was the grossest thing. I'm shocked my family doesn't come running to see what happened. Yeah, that was the worst thing. Don't ever do that. At least somebody cares about me. These guys are looking. They're like, what happened? Just tell us, open the gate and we'll come save you. You set my world on fire. You're my heart's desire. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day You set my world on fire You set my world on fire 
Yes, you guys are not involved. I don't know what I do without you. You make me smile. What is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors. Like the moon is the snow, we don't care about the ultrasound or something like that, I'd like to know that I'm looking at the right, right place, spot. right? Because, you know, we could take any course and probably find an x-ray problem, but is it mm -hmm. causing the issue is the yeah. hard part. Let's bring her back in and put her in the cross ties. I just want to test that foot again and All right. the right front. So, to do me, you think... To if me, with what you're telling me, like, the, you know, the fact that she's sort of unwilling when ridden, and it looks more so obvious when ridden. That? Yeah. It, to me, it points more to a front end issue than a hind. Oh, good. Uh, Yay, which, I love you. Which I think is, is and, showing and up. I think she might, she might look like she has a hind end issue mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. of the way that she's moving up yeah. front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's very subtle. Yeah. And like the fact that you can even feel it, I think, is... It's like, like it's good for you to say like you know what I like, yeah I've like noticed so when I go on the rise. one rein we just go normal and then on the other rein I'm really working to rise while I ride her because she doesn't because she's fighting it she's fighting you gotta put your foot down Stella Bell there Come on, there there we go I just wanna love you just wanna hold you wanna be with you till we grow old You tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day Actually, he's done a really good job of making this foot look good over the he, last... He is amazing. Then. Right. Okay? And you notice, like, the yeah. rotation yeah. and how long the toe is. Yeah. Now you've got, like... Wow! It almost looks like there's no rotation the way he's got her trim. You can still kind of see that little change in the bone which is not yeah. unusual yeah um he's got her toe yeah quite far back i do think maybe we could bring it back a touch okay just to yeah just to help shift her weight a little bit okay. not much but it could come back like you know half a centimeter like a quarter of an inch or something just i don't think she needs any elevation i i just think that she needs a little bit of protection from her soul here so maybe a frog pad something to you know to redistribute the weight okay. i don't know if she, i don't think that she would need a heart bar shoe not underweight by okay. any means okay. and i'd rather that you were you know a little tiny would... bit under than over yeah. yeah yeah i agree okay so do you remember all those times you told me before we went camping what did you tell me you said stella's lame in her right foot her right foot is lame do you remember all the times you told me that? Well, you are better than a lot of people that I know because you're the one that called it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's what's wrong. The right foot, not the left? Yeah, oh. Right. Depends on what way you're looking at her. If, 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 if I'm looking at her, it's the right one. If I'm standing the same if way. If you're standing in front of her, it's the right one. Yeah. When in doubt, call the vet. Honestly, I have never, the, our vet, some people well, your riding instructor. Some yeah, first the riding instructor and then the vet. Some people don't like to call the vet because I don't know why. Having the vet here is literally the best thing that's ever happened. Like our vet gives me so much confidence. Basically, he did x-rays. I'll, I'll put the, the sound in. I tried to record the sound so I could remember everything he said. But basically, he said that what our farrier has done for Stella's feet since she foundered, had a founder flare, has been miraculous. Nothing short of miraculous. You can't even see a rotation anymore. And he's, she's totally so good. And basically, he thinks she just has like a stone bruise or some kind of. That's what I was thinking when yeah. he was touching that. I'm like, yeah. that's probably a stone bruise. 
jumpers. Yeah, so I'm just gonna give her some. She walked down the road yesterday. I no, mean, it's it's been for a while, Gabby. It happened before we went camping. I'm sure of it. Um, no, probably while you went camping. No, I think it happened before you went camping. And the only reason I think that is because Gabby kept saying she's off in the front. She's off in the front. And I believe you, Gabby. I am going to give her some butte for a couple of days. Um, and the farrier is going to put pads on her feet just to give her like a little bit of um, a cushion so that she doesn't have any... I don't know, pressure on it or whatever. And then I'm going to ride her again and see how she goes. And he does not think I'm too heavy for her. Fiona does not think I'm too heavy for her at all. Um, and she manages to carry me. Like, she carries me well. I've ridden horses before where I've been like, oh, I don't feel like this horse is strong enough to carry me. Storm? Yeah, yeah, like Storm. And But when I ride Stella, I feel good on her. Like, I, I, I'm a little tall, but I actually feel good. I feel like she doesn't have any problems carrying me. But... Because she's used to carrying adults. I'm, te I'm teaching my puppy not to. But Fiona was worried that maybe because a horse with a hawk issue might ha be able to carry less. Do you know what I mean? That was her only concern. And I asked him when we talked about it. But it's not her hawk. Her hawk seems okay. He also did say she is so not lame. Like, she's slightly off in the front. Like, so slightly off in the front <laughs> that... It's, it's not much like he can't he said like I can't hardly tell anything because she's so slightly like it's so minor but I don't feel comfortable riding a horse unless I unless I know and I, there's no amount of money you can spend in the world then then that is more worth spending than having somebody check and make sure that you're doing okay by them but anyway on with the rest of the video i don't know if uh you guys were expecting a vet vlog today but that's what this turned into uh girls are finishing school and then we were gonna head out for lessons take everything we got give it an honest shot turning it on and off when her ribs show a little tiny bit I'll show you if you see what I mean like she looks a little bit underweight to me and so I told him like Sam underfeeds a little tiny bit I overfeed a little tiny bit and he said 
that we're running out of hay. Uh, he said basically, do not overfeed them, even a little bit, that I'm gonna kill her with kindness. Watch out, bombs away, watch out. And he said that um, he would a million times have, want her to be a little tiny bit underweight than overweight every single time. A little bit underweight is always better. But he said that, oh, this is hard work. Don't eat it. What are you doing? That's not your lunch. Bombs away. Here I come. Watch out. Watch out. That's a big one. He did say that he thought her weight looked really good. Perfect. Don't have to change a thing. But I asked Brandon last night and he said, oh, she's underweight. You need to pump her up. And it just goes to show you that um, weight on horses is, a, is like a big thing. Like everybody has an opinion. And people, some people prefer a little bit chubbier. Some people prefer a little bit under and Definitely a hard thing to get a perfect weight on a horse, that's for sure. I don't think any of ours are a perfect weight. We do struggle and we do work on it though. The thing is, I don't like skinny horses. I like, I just don't. Snack time's over. <laughs> Come on. Poor Gracie. You guys are mean to her. So I am breaking into my bottle of Butte. So that Stella. Ugh. Oh. You have your own way. Let me do it. I'm, I'm gonna feed them. Uh, so Stella's getting butte for five days. Hopefully she'll take that. Wait, this one's yours. Good girl. Come here, Gracie. Come here, my princess. Come here. There you go. Love feeding the horses. And I love when it's like starting to get night and it's cold and the wind is blowing. It makes me feel like, what's that feeling that, why did you guys poop so much? Holy cow. It's a, that feeling of like, hunkering down and getting ready to like relax and rest in the in the I storm i feel like it's gonna rain actually yeah, yeah it's supposed to rain for days i just want you i just need you i don't know what it is you do i just want you i just need you i don't know what it is you do i just Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.